Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss that is fifth question. 1521 trees are planted in the garden such a way that there are as many trees in each row as there are number of in the there are rows in the garden. Find the number of rows and number of trees in each row. So we are drawn one garden here. So let's take R1, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, like that it will go. We don't know how many rows are there. Like that in each row, how many trees are there, we don't know. Simply we drawn 4, 4 like that. So tree 1, tree 2, tree 3, like that it's planted. So let's take, the, but that given condition is number of rows equal to number of trees in each row. So total number of trees, what is that? So what they're given is total trees total number of trays will be equal to 1521 then what they are given is let number of rows in the garden will be let's take x and number of trees in each row each row will be equal to let's take t then what they are given condition is here number of rows will be equal to number of trees in each row that means x will be equal to t so total number of trees how you can write here is so total trees total trees will be equal to number of rows into number of trees in each row so number of rows that one we can take it as x into number of trees will be t then what you can take here t into t that is t square so t square will be equal to what is that so here let's take t square will be equal to what is the total trees 1 5 2 1 so here also 1 5 2 1 that means if square will go this side means it will become square root 1 5 2 1 then find square root of 1 5 2 1 with prime factorization method so what is that it will go with 2 or not no it's not go with 2 then it will be go with 3 so 3 5 is a 15 then 0 3 7 is up then again it will go with 3 or yes it will go with 3 1 is a 3 3 2 is a 6 so 3 1 is a then 2 will come 3 6 is a 18 then 3 9 is a then it will go with it will not go with any 2 3 5 like that definitely it will go with 13 13 into 13 will be 169 so what is that meaning here you can so 1 5 2 1 you can write it in the format of square root of 1 5 2 1 will be square root of 3 into 3 into 13 into 13 that will be 3 square into 13 square that will be 1 5 2 1 then 3 into 13 whole square that will be equal to square square root will 13 3 is a 39 so therefore what you can write here as number of trees for each row and number of rows all are equal to 39 39 trees and 39 rows thanks for watching please subscribe Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss that is 6th question. A school collected 2,601 rupees as fees from its students if fee paid by each student and number of students in the school were equal. How many students were there in the school? So what is that they are given is total fees from students is 2,601 rupees. Let's take total number of students total number of students will be equal to x and fees collected each student fee paid by fee paid by each student will be equal to some r rupees that means here r equal to s x what they are given the total number of students that will be equal to each student fee paid that also equal that means so total fees will be equal to 
will be equal to 2601 rupees that means number of students total students into fee paid by each student fee paid by each student that will be equal to 2601 rupees that means what you can take here is total number of students is what x fees paid by each student is r 2601 then x into here in the r place you can substitute x so x square will be equal to 2601 then x will be equal to square root of 2601 then what you can calculate so 2601 we can use as prime factorization method so will it go with 2 no why because your unit place is 1 so it will go with 3 so 3 8 is 24 then 10 3 3 is 9 then so what you'll get so 3 8 is 24 20 will get here so 3 6 is then 21 3 7 is then what you'll get here is again go with 3 so 3 2 is 6 16 3 5 is 15 so 3 2 is 6 26 will get 3 8 is 24 then 3 8 is 24 then 2 will remain 3 9 is so like that if you go means 3 will not divisible 5 7 not like that so it will divisible only with 17 that will 17 into 17 that is 289 so right square root of 2601 it will become 3 into 3 17 into 17 that means what is that is so 3 square into 17 square square root then 3 into 17 whole square so square root square and square root 3 into 17 then what you'll get 51 so what does that mean so total number of students how many so total number of students will be equal to therefore total students and fees paid by each student will be equal to 51 thanks for watching please subscribe in this module we are going to discuss seventh question what is that is the product of two numbers is 1296 if one is 16 times the other find the two numbers so let's take what they are given is product of product of two numbers will be equal to 1296 then let two numbers are x and y so one is 16 times the other means let's take x will be equal to 16 times of y so x will be equal to 16 times of y then you can take it as x into y will be equal to 1296 then so here x means you can substitute 16y into y that will be equal to 1296 then y square will be equal to 1296 by 16 so then what you can take it here here is so 2 8 za then 2 6 za then 2 4 za 8 then 1 will be remind 2 8 za 16 then what you can take it here is 8 1 za 8 8 za 64 then 8 1 za so what we are getting here is 81 that means y square will be equal to 81 then what is that mean of y will be equal to what square root of 81 so 9 into 9 you can write then 9 square square root then square and square root will going to cancel then y will be equal to 9 then what is x x will be equal to 16 into y that is 16 into 9 then what you are getting 144 16 9 is 144 thanks for watching please subscribe